What's up everyone, Justin Crumley here with the Kujo Productions channel. Welcome to another edition of Kujo Productions Sports Talk. And, uh, wow, NFL free agency, man. It's like a soap opera. So much drama, and we're loving it. Um, so today I want to talk about the New England Patriots, who, uh, if you guys haven't figured it out by now, is my favorite team. And, um... Yeah, making some uncharacteristic moves this offseason. Very, definitely something I couldn't have predicted. And for this video, I want to focus on their free agent signings so far. Um, I'm not going to do the trades. That's just going to be another video entirely, which should be up later. Um, but I want to talk about the signings first. And uh, first things first, let's get the Deron Harmon signing out of the way. And Allen Branch, I'll get to that in a second. But Deron Harmon, I think this is a very good signing for New England. Deron Harmon provides depth, leadership. He's been around a while, and uh, um, he is a backup to like McCourty and and Patrick Chung. I don't, uh, I don't, you know, he isn't uh, every down player, but Deron Harmon, as I said, provides leadership, and he's also uh, he's actually really good. He's come up with some very big plays in New England over the years. And uh, they got him for pretty cheap, too. He signed a four-year, $20 million contract, so he's only making about $5 million a year. Yeah, very good signing. I'm really happy for him, and I'm happy for the Patriots on that. Up next is Allen Branch, the defensive tackle out of Michigan. Just wanted to give that a mention because I'm a Michigan fan. But anyway, uh, Allen Branch, uh, huge, huge signing here. Uh, two, two years. 12 million, and I, when I say huge, I don't mean the contract, I mean uh, the player itself, and I'm not saying that because he's a big guy, I'm saying it because he's been an absolute asset for the Patriots, in the absence of Vince Wilfork, Kim and Malcolm Brown, I got it right this time, so don't hammer me in the comment section, uh, but uh, him and Malcolm Brown have been an absolute run force, and by that I mean they're the runs the, absolutely just plug up the middle, so it's hard for teams to get a run game going. Uh, they're also very good. Uh, they're just great defensive linemen altogether, and I'm really happy that they're going to be paired up again. I don't know what Malcolm Brown's contract is looking like. I don't know when he's a free agent, but I know uh, at least I know a branch is back for two more years. Now let's get into the more exciting ones, and by that I mean the ones that are outside of the uh of uh, of the organization and this is where things get a little uh like unexpected the patriots signed cornerback stephen gilmore to a five-year 65 million dollar contract he's uh 26 years old so he'll be around until he's 31 so i think this uh, as far as the length goes i think this uh this isn't a bad contract uh the money is really like the closest thing to a complaint that i have uh, he's making, I think, with incentives, about 14 mil a year. Uh, the math would say 13 mil, but I think a lot of people are saying 14, so I'm just going to go with that. Um, so he's getting paid very handsomely. And that is a lot to be throwing at a cornerback, but I mean, uh, Stephon Gilmore, if I'm saying that right, I'm pretty sure it's Stephon. Maybe it's Steven. I don't know. I've heard Stephon, so I'm, I'm going with Stephon. Uh, Stephon Gilmore has been absolutely uh i think he's very underrated and uh you know this this is uh the, what i'm about to say is uh kind of besides the point but uh madden 17 uh he's a pain in the ass to play against uh but anyways stefan gilmore his stats for 2016 he had 48 tackles uh all together i think he had 42 solo if i'm not mistaken and six were assisted i don't i don't I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong on that. So uh, don't quote me on that. Um, but he had 48 tackles altogether. He had no sacks, which is obvious. I mean, he's a cornerback. Cornerbacks don't often get sacks. Um, he had no forced fumbles, um, but he had five interceptions. That's actually really good for a season. Now keep in mind, Stephon Gilmore played in Rex Ryan's system where the Bills' defense wasn't as good as it probably should have been. 
I mean, when uh, when uh, Doug Marone was there, the Bills had a very stagnant defense, and I, I thought they were going in a very good direction. So I was actually quite surprised when they when they fired him and brought in Rex Ryan. Um, and uh, I think Stephon Gilmore, with the proper guidance, can become a top corner. And we've seen this happen with uh, with New England. I mean, you know, they brought in Revis and Browner, then they lost them both. And they had uh, Logan Ryan and, and Malcolm Butler, who, uh, in my opinion, were a very good duo. Um, you know, that whole drama with him, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. That's, you know, just right now it ain't worth really talking about, at least to me. Um, I will go over it in a future video, if you want me to. So, yeah, if you want me to go over the Malcolm Butler drama, uh, I will. I'll do a video on that. Just let me know in the comment section. Can't promise it'll be when it would be, but um, yeah, if you want me to go over that, I'll, I'll do it. Just let me know in the comment section. But anyway, Stephon Gilmore, I think this is a good signing for New England. Uh, like I said, the money is a tad bit high, but whatever. I think this guy definitely has potential to be a top 10 corner in the league. And uh, I read you his stats. He had five interceptions. That's that's pretty good for a cornerback in, in one season. And he's 26 years old, so he's uh, he's uh, pretty much in his prime right now. And like I said, when he uh, when that contract is up, he'll be 31. Uh, so I'm pretty sure New England will probably end up letting him walk. But that's that's five years from now, so we're not we're not going to talk about that. So overall, I like this signing. Uh, I think this is a great asset to a team that lost Logan Ryan and may lose Malcolm Butler. Um, and I think uh, I think this would be uh, this is going to be a very nasty uh, addition in the Patriots defense this year. Wow, uh, it looks very stagnant. <laughs> um, and I'll get into that more with uh, the trades because uh, the Patriots made a um, they made a trade for. Uh, for a player from Carolina. I will get into that in the next video. So look out for that. So yeah, overall, Stephen Gil uh, Stephen, Stephen Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore. It'll help if I can get his damn name right. Overall, I like this signing. Now let's talk about Lawrence Guy from the uh, Baltimore Ravens. Um, I don't know how, uh, how old he is, so I can't really... Uh, I can't really say his age, but um, uh, the contract details, if I'm not mistaken, are four years, twenty mil. Uh, if I'm uh, if I'm correct on that, I'm also gonna look up his age because it's uh, starting to bother me now. <laughs> he's 27, so he's 27 years old. So four years, he will be 31, same age as uh, Stefan Gilmore when his contract is up. Um. But anyway, uh, he had 28 tackles, one sack, one forced fumble, and uh, no interceptions. These were his uh, 2016 numbers. And uh, from what I gather, that was actually like a uh, that was actually like a uh, a bit of a a bit of an off year for him. Like uh, it was a step back from the year he had prior. So this guy definitely has uh, brings a lot of heat to uh, to the table. And I like this signing because the Pats lost Jabal Sherd. They lost um, Chris Long and uh, Barcavis Mingo, who I did, you know, he's a linebacker, so that's kind of just whatever. But and by you know, kind of just whatever, I mean it. You know, Mingo wasn't all that wasn't all that great anyway. But anyway, I like this signing because first of all, it's a very cheap signing. Four years, twenty mil. Again, roughly around five million a year. If my math is correct, and usually it's not, so yeah, I, I like this signing because they lost Chris Long, they lost uh, Jabal Sherd, so they definitely needed an, another D end to complement Trey Flowers, and I think this guy definitely brings it. Uh, they also brought in uh, another guy, Coney Ely, but again, that was a trade. I'll get into that in another video. So maybe this is more like a depth move, and. Uh, yeah, so overall, I think I do like this signing. I don't think uh, I don't think Lawrence Guy is like the the best player that they could have got, but uh, definitely a good option for the defensive line. 
Uh, and, uh, yeah, just overall good player, good signing, and a really good move on Belichick and the Patriots part. All right, guys, that's all I got for you for this video. Uh, later on, I will, uh, I will discuss the trades in another video coming up uh, later today. And by later today, God, I say that a lot. I mean, like, you know, as soon as I get this video uploaded, I'm going to start working on the other one. So, double duty. Haven't done that in a while, if ever. Uh, so, yeah. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think of these moves for the uh, New England Patriots. Even if you're not a uh, Patriots fan, I I'd love to get your input on this. Uh, but if you and Also, if you're not a Patriots fan... How is your team doing? How, how is your favorite team doing in free agency? Uh, I obviously can't cover every team. I mean, I could, but it would take forever, and I, I'd probably end up... I'd probably end up, uh, like, going all the way to the draft uh, because I've just been... My, my schedule's been very hectic. But, um... So, yeah, let me know in the comment section if you're a Patriots fan or not a Patriots fan. What do you think of these moves? If you're a, uh, if you don't want to talk about the Patriots and want to talk about your team, that's that's also fine. I want to know what you think your team is doing. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you for now. Have a great day. If you're not having a great day, I hope it gets better. Until later today, I'm Justin Crumley, and this is Cujo Productions, signing out.